Hey, shut up! Hey. Shut up! Hey, hey. what's your plans, Chris? Anyway, uh, so. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. So basically, guys, this is I still don't. What am I doing? Well, I'm I glad I asked. I'm watching Skydo's Minecraft play an epic parkour jump map. You know, when I was nine years old, I used to sit back and watch Skydo's Minecraft videos on YouTube, and I thought to myself, you know, I would love to do this when I'm all grown up. It's all I ever wanted to do as a kid. I remember I would sit back and play Minecraft and pretend I was actually recording for an audience. Hey guys, Andrew the Minecrafter here, and today we will be playing our 43rd game of Master Builders. Now, as you all know, I won 16 games today, so we're going to go for our 17th win. Yeah, that's what I did as a kid, talk to a made-up audience, but what could I do? I was nine. I was still wearing footy pajamas. It would still be at least another four years before I was able to make my own YouTube account. Anyway, since I knew I was going to be waiting for four years, I decided that I need to have some sort of practice with a social media account. And that's the story that comes in the form of a Razor scooter to the ankle. When Instagram first came out, my sister got an Instagram account, and she was having a grand old time with it. So I asked my parents, Dad. 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 What? Could I have an Instagram account, please? Sure, you can have mine. Thank you. Can you close the door on your way out? And there it was, my very own Instagram account. Let's have a look. Oh, it gets worse. You know, some people say I have magical powers. Yeah, no one wants to hear from Boots the Monkey anymore. Let's continue. Yeah, if I could, I would absolutely delete that Instagram account. But I can't. Would I like to reminisce on why? Well, it was because of some bullcocky excuse to get me off the app. So, why can't I delete that Instagram account, you ask? Well, it's all because one day my nine-year-old brain thought it would be a good idea to have Herobrine, yes, Herobrine, hack my Instagram account. Don't look at me like I'm stupid, I already need to know. I posted a photo of Herobrine that said, ha ha, I just hacked this account, lol. To which I replied, what the F star star star. Now, one might think that I said the F word, the word above frick, and the one that rhymes with truck. But no, I literally typed what the F star star star. Now this was my sister's golden opportunity to get me off of Instagram. She took this to my parents and told them that Instagram censors curse words. Here's a news flash, Instagram did not censor curse words. My parents gave my sister permission to delete my Instagram account. Unfortunately for me, she did not know how to delete an Instagram account. So she logged me out and changed the password. Years later, I asked her what the password was and she said she did not know. So that Instagram account is still there to remind me that if I ever make a joke, then chances are somebody will take it too seriously or somebody will not be able to take a freaking joke. Anyways, I was punished for months after that. My parents took away my 3DS, my Wii U, and they wouldn't let me use any of their iPads, all because they had thought that I had cursed on the internet. Now, if you ask me, I still think it's F star star starring BULL star 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 star. So because of this incident, my cringy Instagram account is still out there to haunt me to this very day. I still have nightmares about it to this very day. Well, two years later, I needed to learn how to use a smartphone. So for Christmas, my parents got me, or should I say gave me, my sister's old iPod Touch. <gasps> a hand-me-down iPod Touch! It's just what I wanted! I still have it to this very day. No, my Minecraft music parody playlist! 
While it was with this iPod Touch that I watched all the classics, Sky is Minecraft, Dan TDM, Zexy, Zek, Element Animation, Captain Sparkles, and let's not forget Dads Are Funny. They were underrated. Madma was a good series. Anyways, I remember watching these YouTubers and I thought to myself, Wow, these YouTubers are great. I bet nothing bad will happen to them. Definitely. Well, it was then my friend created a YouTube channel and I thought, hey, you know, if he could do it, I bet I could do it. I was 11 at the time. I was also in the fourth grade at the time and I was struggling with my grades. So unfortunately, son, I'm taking away your iPod touch until you can get your grades back up. What? What do you mean my grades are bad? My grades are fine. Son, you're failing recess. Okay, in my defense, I was told that the test was going to be open calculator. What test? You're supposed to be playing around outside having fun. You don't know what those tests are like. I could be up studying for a week and still fail. But why do you need a calculator for recess? How should I know? I didn't have my calculator. You're telling me the reason why you are failing recess is because you forgot your calculator at home. Look, Dad, I'm trying my hardest. Evidently not. You're failing recess. Okay, fine, I was struggling a lot. I was bringing home C's and D's, but it was in history and science. History and science! Luckily, I was able to get my grades back up in the fifth grade, so for Christmas that year, my dad got me a Kindle Fire, so... Well, it was with this Kindle Fire that I continued to watch all the great Minecraft YouTubers. Sky Does Minecraft was doing his epic jump maps, Dan TDM was doing his mod skits, Zexy Zek was doing his trolling, and Mark Sheverton was continuing his Game 9999 series. I don't know if you remember these books, but I sure as heck deal. Well, before starting middle school, my parents wanted to see if I could handle the pressures of having a new phone. So, they got me a brand new Kyoso Reverb. It lasted for six months. So I'm the guy who gets the screen out. Oh no, it wasn't that. Some baklava fell on it and I had to wipe it off. Oh my goodness, how clumsy of me. I've accidentally spilled a baklava syrup on my Kyocera Verve. Uh, I better clean this off properly. Just put that there. Oh. oh, why isn't it working? I mean, who cares? It was total garbage anyways. It didn't even play Tetris. So for Christmas that year, my dad gave me his old Samsung Galaxy S3. I had it for a little bit longer this time. Oh! Yeah, I had it for a month before it fell off of a toilet paper roll and into a toilet. So, not my fault. Just blame the toilet for being wet. Luckily, it still worked. It would just turn off when it reached 90%, so... It would work for five minutes before I had to plug it back in. It stuck with me for another six months before it would start dying at 95%, but at 93%, it recorded my first ever YouTube video. In 2016, I made my YouTube channel, and I called it Andrew the Minecrafter. Now, you would think with a name like that and talking about making Minecraft videos for so long, I would make my first video a Minecraft Let's Play. You'd think. Hey guys, Into the Minecraft here, and today we're gonna take my dog out for a walk. Now, yes, this is my first YouTube video, so please feel free to like and subscribe because we're gonna be doing some daily Minecraft content. Oh gosh, thank you! Yeah, my first three videos were of me being dragged around by my dog because my S3 could only record in 10 minute intervals at a time, so... Stay! 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 Well, the next day, my dad got me a brand new Samsung Galaxy S7 that has lasted me for three years and has left a permanent third degree burn on my leg. Get the fire extinguisher! Scratch that. A third degree burn, a burnt off tail, and thousands of dollars in medical bills. But it came with the Gear VR. 
Ah, I feel like a fancy person at the opera. Oh my gosh, my hands are on fire! Oh gosh, give me some aloe sunscreen and eye drops! Now, my S7 was one of the best phones that I ever had, and it was one of the first profile photos that wasn't a Minecraft selfie. And while we are on the subject of the letter H, I was finally, finally able to start making Minecraft YouTube videos. One eternity late. Several bad pa- Well, a few videos later, I fished out a Logitech 720p camera and a Disney Singit microphone, and it was working until I stumbled across a major problem. Hey guys, Andrew the Minecraft here, and today we're gonna be- Andrew, shut up! Yeah, somehow, some way, I would be interrupted, but I never gave up. I put up a white sheet in the background, I got myself a new headset, but some way, somehow, I would still be interrupted. Now, some days were better than others. Some days my family would be out of the house, leaving me alone for an entire day. While on other days, my sister would tell me to shut up. Good days are bad. For the first few months, I was not able to make a single legitimate subscriber. The only people who did subscribe to me were myself, my parents, and a couple of my friends. So I just put more effort into my YouTube channel. I did more Let's Plays, I did more vlogs, and then I tried dabbling in live streams. And, oh my gosh, the live streams, each live stream that I did would end in failure after failure because I would constantly be interrupted! No matter how many signs I put up saying I am live streaming, please don't interrupt me, somebody would walk past that sign. No matter how many privacy sheets I put up, someone would always poke their head in. And no matter how many times I put my phone on to do not disturb, my phone would disturb me! And for those of you who are wondering, no, I didn't have a closed office. My computer was in the living room, where my family was, where my dog would jump up and start barking at the mailman for no reason, or where my mom would come in and grab pencils, pens, papers, checks, you name it, or where my father would come in and tell me that I need to be off the computer in 20 minutes, or where my sister would come in and start talking to her friends about God only knows what, or someone would come in and tell me to shut and that was my YouTube channel for the first year. 13-year-old me yelling at a Dell 1080p monitor with a Logitech business headset and 720p camera and a Disney singing microphone, all while constantly being interrupted or harassed while live streaming or recording. So when I turned 14, I asked myself, hey, how could I possibly gain more subscribers? And I told myself, I just needed to be myself and let whatever is going to happen, happen. So whenever I got interrupted, I rolled with it and rolled with the punches. You know, if my sister told me to shut up, I got even louder that day. And when my dog barked at the mailman, I flippin' said, ah! So I thought to myself, how could I make my YouTube channel work? It was at this point where my YouTube channel was just a mess. I was doing live streams, let's plays, unboxing videos, skits. I didn't even know what my channel was anymore. So I took my knowledge of skit making and put it into Vine. Now, when I was making my Vine account, Andrew the Minecrafter was too long and Harvey the Crafter was just plain stupid. So I came up with the name Electronic Crafter. While I was on Vine, I was being me and I thought I was doing pretty well. 
I was being an idiot, I was having fun, and I made a silly six second rap about being in my mom's car and playing Pokemon Go. Thank God that video has never resurfaced. And yeah, my vines were absolute cringe, but I was happy. I had a platform to build skits onto, no matter how long or short they really were. And no, I was getting a lot of views or likes for that matter, but still, I was happy. But unfortunately, three or four months later, Vine shut down. I continued making YouTube videos, but not with much luck, so I thought that was it. I thought the internet had given up on me, so I had almost given up on the internet. But then, when all hope was lost, and I saw the door close, God opened up a window. And it came in the form of a brand new titanium hip! In late 2017, we knew that my mother was going to need surgery on both of her hips. So my dad did not want her walking up and down the stairs all the time. So he started looking around for a new house. And he almost bought a literal mansion, but they wanted cash for it. So that definitely wasn't a red flag. Finally, he found the house that we live in today, but I was skeptical at first, but then I saw something that could potentially change my life forever. Whoa. Whoa! My own private office that also belonged to my family. I thought this was the solution to all my problems. I thought that I would never be interrupted again! I thought that I would never be interrupted again. I thought! Hey Paisanos, it's Andrew the Minecraft here, and today- Andrew, why is this door locked? Um, I'm trying to record something. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I won't interrupt. Okay, thank you. All right, let's try it again. One, two, three. Hey, Paisano- It says that you don't need to lock the door. Mom, can I please record my video? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Thank you. Let's try this again. Three, two, one. Hey guys, Dance of the Minecraft here. And Anyways, today... girl, let me show you this new desk right, that I yeah, got. I'm done. I mean, it was my first attempt of making a YouTube video in that office. I knew it was going to need some type of work. So I asked my parents if they could be respectful around me while I was recording, and they agreed. But then I asked my sister. Hey. Hmm. When I am recording, can you please be respectful and not interrupt me while I am recording? Nope. What? I'm your big sister. I can do whatever I want, so... <laughs> Clean that up. Mom says it's time for dinner. Alright, I think I'll just keep the door locked from now on. Yeah, if you plan on having a YouTube channel, don't plan on having siblings. Anyways, one day I found out that I would have the entire house to myself and I thought it was going to be the golden opportunity to reintroduce myself to the world once again. So for a month, I told everybody that I'd be doing a massive live stream, and honestly, it was very important to me. But when that day came... Hello, Paisanos, it's Angela the... Yeah, that's when I realized that the Wi-Fi router that was built in the 1900s was only delivering three bits per hour into the office, which was one story above. So... I knew that the live stream was hopeless. I tried to salvage as much as I could from the live stream, but it wasn't much. I played a game of Mario in the Music Box and I uploaded it and that was it. So I talked to my dad about getting a new Wi-Fi router, but unfortunately I was the only one who was having problems with it to begin with. So unfortunately he said no, and I could not live stream for months after that. Well, a couple months later, the school year started back up and one of my friends accidentally broke their phone. He was asking around wondering if anybody wanted it and I was like, oh my goodness, I will take it. At the time, I was watching a lot of Plain Rock 124, and I thought to myself, hmm, maybe I could copy some of his content and get some subscribers myself. It did not work. 
Well, I grabbed a friend of mine and he and I took turns recording each other break an already broken iPhone SE. When we were done, we were looking over the footage and that's when I realized that I did not have any video editing software. So there was a new problem that I didn't account for. So I went to my computer teacher and I asked her, is there any good video editing software out there that's free? And she told me, well, there's Windows Movie Maker. It's not good, but it's free. And that was my first skit on YouTube. And you know what? It was terrible, but it got over 250 views. But then I had to take it down because my friend didn't want to be on the internet anymore. I wonder why. Luckily, my friend offered to be my cameraman. We were also both 14 and couldn't drive anywhere at the time, so that idea was strictly out the window. Well, I realized I needed a way to film myself properly, so I bought myself an Amazon Basics tripod. The leg broke off of it and I used it as a coat hanger. Well, I wanted to test out my new tripod, so I made a video called Waiting for a Package. I didn't even write the script for it, it was poorly edited, I added so many memes to it, and somehow it became the most popular video I have ever made on YouTube. And a lot of my friends have been asking, well, where is Waiting for a Package 2? It's not coming. I'm not making it. You're not going to make me make it unless I want to make it, Kyle! The next week after filming Waiting for a Package, I began to edit it together. But while I was editing, waiting for a package, somehow, my Wi-Fi router factory reset itself. I let my dad know, and when he came home, he got mad at me for factory resetting the Wi-Fi router. Hey, son, be honest with me here. Did you factory reset this? No, I told you, it just factory reset itself. Okay, I'm gonna give you one last chance here. Did you factory reset this? What? No, I swear, it just factory reset itself. Okay, you're lying to me. Give me your phone. What? Dad, I didn't do anything! Yes, you did. These things don't just magically reset themselves. Now you're grounded for the rest of the month, and you're going to help me fix this. And when we're done fixing this, you're in your room for the rest of the night. Alright, and we're connecting to the router. And we're online. Okay, let's test something out here. Huh. What? What's wrong? The computer just lost its connection. Why did the computer lose connection? Because the router just factory reset itself. I didn't catch that. Can you say that again? And that's why we got Orbi Satellite Internet, baby! Let's go! I can make live streams again! You'd think. Well, I did a test live stream and it went pretty well, except I was heckled. And honestly, to me, that was a sign that YouTube just didn't want me. So I had given up on YouTube, and it practically gave up on me. I began working on a couple more skits. One was how to destroy an iPhone 4, and the other one was stupid things that my friends do. I actually did post... Stupid things that my friends did, but um, I took it down because honestly, I didn't like making fun of my friends. And then when I started to break the iPhone 4, I realized that I was just copying too much from Plain Rock. And I asked myself, would it even be worth it? And I thought, no, it wouldn't be worth it anymore. So. I made two more videos after that, and they were both for, they were both for a project in freshman geography. And that was it. After those two videos, I quit YouTube altogether. I no longer saw a point in making videos and then being made fun of it later on, so... I finished up my freshman year in high school and then quit YouTube entirely. And then it was deja vu all over again. 
My sister was showing off her brand new TikTok account, so I thought it would be a good idea to get TikTok on my phone. I started scrolling and I thought, hey, you know, I might be able to make some videos on here. So I posted my first TikTok. And then I made a TikTok, which was just me putting an iPhone 5S into a wallet. And then I just wanted to show off my photoshopping skills, so I made Sully DeVito. And that video was the first video that I ever made to officially blow up. That video got 125,000 views. I went on to make more. I made Joe Cronk, which got 300,000 views. And then I made the Nintendo Challenge, which was the first video that I used without a sound that got over 400,000 views. And so many people were doing the Nintendo Challenge, just stacking Nintendo consoles on top of Nintendo consoles. Look, Nintendo, Nintendo, virginity. And then a few months after that, I made the video how I passed my math final, which got over 10 million views and still gets views to this day. And then in 2020, my TikTok page began to grow even more. I had reached 10,000 followers, and then I posted the video things Nintendo did before Apple, and it got featured from Barstool and the Gamer. And then I started to get DMs from fans. I didn't even know I had fans to begin with. And then the Nut Button Company just sent me one of their products out of nowhere and said, Hey, you're doing such a good job. Thank you for being yourself. And then I made the Baloney Story, which was the most successful story series that I ever did. It involved me saying the word baloney, you know, the sandwich meme, getting in trouble for it. And then the school shutting down. And then on June 30th, 2020, I reached 100,000 followers on TikTok. Three days later, I had my first seizure. Then three days later, I had another one. And then seven days later, I had another one. And then I couldn't drive for like six or seven months. And then I hardly posted anything in the year 2021. And then I lost 10,000 followers. But in 2022, the Lord blessed me and I was finally able to make a comeback and rebuild my audience. And now I'm back to almost 130,000 followers. It has been years since I've made a YouTube video. And you know what? My friends have let me know that. Hey, there he is. Hey, I got a question for you. When are you gonna start making YouTube videos again? Ha! For the last few months, I was thinking about the last 10 years, and I remember wanting to be a Minecraft YouTuber, to becoming a Minecraft YouTuber and failing at it, to becoming a success on TikTok, and now, I want to take my success and try to put it back into my old channel. So I think it's time for me to dust off the old channel. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not going to do Minecraft Let's Plays, at least not yet. But who knows, I might be able to make another channel. Well now I think I have the time, software, hardware, and energy to get back into making skits for YouTube. So. I'll start out with one skit a month, making 12 skits a year, and we'll see what happens from there. So now that I'm back on YouTube, I think it's proper for my next skit to be... Andrew, why is this door locked? Mom, I am recording!